This man, William Ruto, uh-huh. has never fought for anything in this country. Allah. He has never fought for freedom. Allah. He has never fought for liberation. Allah. He did not fight for the constitution. Allah. He did not fight for the second liberation. Allah. He did not fight for multi party democracy. Relax. He has absolutely no moral authority to lecture anyone about anything. <laughs> Wazito, eh? mimi ni kofiti lakini nyinyi mmesikia miguna miguna yako Kenya. Ati nini? Venye tunaongea hivi saa hii miguna miguna yako kwa hii nchi. Eh, wacha story mingi hapa baba. Unajua hata venye tunaongea hivi saa hizi mimi biko state house. Wewe unajuaje? Kwani nyinyi hamkuwatch kwa TV mashujaa day? Eh. Hey! What kind of world is this? Na news huwa mna watch. Hapana. Ah wacha wa hiyo watu wakwende kabisa. Sasa baba utaopozi hii serikali aje kama hawa watch news. Mimi sina haja. Wewe nilikuambia wacha makasiriko 2027 unachukua hii kiti. Sitaki. Sasa basi ujumbe ndio huo. Miguna miguna wako area. Talk to Miguna himself and told him come back. Wewe ndio uliorganize karudi. Ndio. Na ulimpitisha aje airport this time. We'll send the lawyers to go and meet him at the airport. Is this true? Yes, of course. So, no, it's, it's right. Sasa kama basi hamuna shida na yeye acha si to move on tu. Tuna shida na bwana Miguna. Okay. Nataka tu alipata sisi passport to pick a stamp. Awapatie passport yake mpige stamp kwani siku hizi mnafanya kazi na immigration. Ah, msituletee ujinga hapa. Mimi sitawaletea ujinga lakini sasa inajua mmetense sana venye amerudi. Bwana anakopa mguu. Wewe kwani uoni venye hunya anaongea hapa kitetemeka? Ata huru anakopa yeye. Huru anaweza kukopa mguu. Wewe chochote tu hapo na wewe ndio umemwogopa hata zaidi. Na ile anaweza kukopa mguu. Eh, hata kwanza ndio huyu anakuja. Sasa baba wewe unajificha nini na umesema haumuogopi? Hakuna mtembana na shida na miguna. Hauna shida na miguna na umemwona ukajificha hapo chini. No. Let's get out. <laughs> wewe nawe cheka tu hapo utapelekwa kwa tupotiwe tena. I want them to go to court tomorrow so that I can deal with them once and for all. Baba simpeleke huyu jamaa kwa court yafanywe ile kitu. Ah ah. Tongi. <laughs> kwa nini basi hutaki kumpeleka kwa koti? We will be in trouble. Trouble kwa nini na mlisema ako out of this country legally? Kupea kalele bigo pana bweka bweka kama umbo huko. Kwa miguu na miguu unafaa kuwa kwa hii country kweli. Read history before you ask me any questions. Hey, 2027 si mbali utadipotiwa tu tena. Lakini uache kuwekelea Raila niende alikudipot. It was Uhuru Kenyatta mm. who conspired with Raila Odinga to remove me out of the country. And that is the start before they reached Ruto. I am the one they started. For all you mean. Baba mwenyewe amesema hiyo ni uongo. Baba. Hey! I died. Si baba. Who's baba? <laughs> Wewe unataka kujifanya hapa sasa uji baba ni nani? Don't call anybody baba. Naongelea Raila Amolo Odinga. Baba ya nani? Baba ya wakenya wote. Wewe wewe una baba kweli? Raila hata ni baba ya baba yangu. Unataka kutafuta mtu anatangatanga kwa barabara unaita baba. Wewe umekosa baba ya kwangu. Hata useme nini mimi simwachi. 2027 atanipea cabinet moja wewe yako sumeni nyima you, you, you go where you cannot even smell the aroma of power <laughs> wewe ngoja 2027 nitakuwa cabinet secretary of foreign affairs unajua ujui and i'm saying come baby come <coughs> Barizenyu Angels. Mzuri. Ah, wewe kwani mabeshte zako uko wapi? Mabeshte gani hiyo? Hao ba president wengine kwani hawakuenda mbinguni na wewe? Wako na mimi. The spirit has me down. Wewe uko na nani hapo hivyo saa hii? Na nataja moja kwa Nani huyo? Mzee Kinyati. <laughs> yaani Angel Jomo hawezi tusalimia. Ah, ndugu zangu ni. Sisi tuko poa wewe uko waje? Nzuri sana. Hai, kwani huko mbinguni hamkuenda wote? We are all together. Hebu mniambieni maisha huko juu iko waje? Mbele ya Mungu. Mm. Sisi ni wageni. Sasa between huko mbinguni na hapa duniani wapi ndio maisha ni tamu? We have the best. The spirit has me that. <laughs> okay. Ndio huyo mimi sasa nimeingia mbinguni. The first thing tafanywa ni nini? Utahesabiwa yale uliyofanya katika ulimwengu. Na hiyo test wewe ulipita aje? Anyway, nilikuwa nataka tu kukuambia huku unapendwa sana. Ninapendwa na nani huko watu wengi sana kila mtu wacha niseme tu ni kila mkenya eh eh kwa mistress
nyinyi wa Kenya kwani shida iko wapi Daniel Arab Moy was not celebrated across the board Quiet Kwa nini sasa was described by some as a dictator I was not a di- dictator I was saying exactly the fears of the people <laughs> Sasa mimi sijui mbona wanasema ulikuwa dictator Moy eh. alifanya makosa eh. alipokuwa president wa nchi Makosa gani Watu akapoteza haki zao za human rights eh? Mimi nikafungwa jela bure hey, lakini mimi najua alienda tu mbinguni jua kusema hivi Kama yuko mtu ametukana mimi na msamee na kama yuko mtu ambaye nimesema jojo tamba kumemisa roho yake unisamee. Hebu sasa tuambie wewe kazi yako mbinguni ni gani? Mimi naimba mara kwa mara. Shut up amara. Uwere. Hai wewe tudanganya hapa ndo kumbinguni bwana. Hiyo sauti yako ikuwa ya kuimba. It is a long way to the barrier. It is a long way to go. It is a long way to the barrier. Sasa kila mtu akifika huko anapewa tale. Kila mtu ata chitete ah, ya mzee jomo ni gani alambe huyu nishajua anafanya kazi na angel gabriel That's right. lakini kibaki alifanya kwani makosa gani ndio akaenda kule kwingine yuko hapa ah, kibaki yako pia huko na kwani hawa watu hawakuwa wanasikia nikikuulizia wote tunasikia eh? na mtu asemi huko sasa nataka kusema pia wewe uko mbinguni oh yes oh yes Unajua mimi karibu niseme ulienda kule kwingine cause ya kuita watu mavi ya ku. What the hell? God will judge you. Eh? Na wewe ukiongea hivi na kumbinguni sitarushwa kwa shetani. Kwani sisi tukae mahali pamoja? What did you say, nigga? Bana. Haiwezekani. We do keep quiet. Hai, wait a bit to the next time nikutafute kwa shetani. Ukituona huko kule wewe tu tusaidie tu. Ah, ah wewe huko mimi siko. Tubafu kabisa. We got for give. Lakini hawa viongozi wetu wa sasa wataenda mbinguni kweli cuz wa Kenya wanateseka sana. Ukikufa, uh-huh. uende pahali. Uh-huh. Ukute Raila Amolo Odinga. Uh-huh. Ujue huko sio mbinguni umepotea. <laughs> Would you tell this committee your financial net worth? Uh, I would put my net worth at about 4 billion shillings. Ma DVD niaje wase hakuna hapa wase nimejileta solo Vipi? fiti sana mkuu sasa saa hii ati wewe na baba kule kwa bank mnacheza bogi moja ama saa hii nafaa kukukombea na uhunye wewe unaonaje si ni juzi juzi tu ndio tumesikia tumeingia uda ndio uilia kusaidia kulipa rent nilisikia wapi sekta ya mfuko sasa hii tumekutii bro mimi ni mzae money 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 kwanza watu hii mtasa hii wamekuheshimu mbaya sana. Na mimi nataka mtume ujumbe paka kule ingo. Mkusi uniweke hata tu 100,000 kwa account ndio nikienda huko ingo nionge na evidence. La. Jesus. Kwa bilioni nne ukitoa 100,000 hata balance haiwezi badilika. Is this true? Yes of course. So, no, it's, it's right. Sasa wewe hautaki kunipea hiyo pesa kidogo kwa nini? Uchumi umekuwa ngumu. Eee. Ngumu aje? Kwa sababu hakuna pesa. Eee. Don't angry me. Kwani unataka kuniambia hiyo bilioni nne yenye uko nayo kwa account si pesa? Deni yametukumba. Sasa unataka kusema hiyo pesa yote yenye uko nayo ni deni? Rental income, uh-huh. uh, dividends, uh-huh. uh, where I have the shareholding uh-huh. and of course other uh, expenses that come from the farm. Na hizi biashara zote zenye umetaja huwa unazilipia tax. Kwani wewe ni mwajiri wa KRA? <laughs> Hai hapana mkuu mimi nataka tukujua kama huwa unaenjoy pesa kwa sababu kuna wenye huwa wanasema at money is not happiness Asubuhi mtu wa KRA anatokea kwa mlango wa mbele ikifika saa kumi mtu wa KRA anatokea kwa mlango wa nyuma haupumui bwana <laughs> Sasa unamaanisha hata hiyo pesa huwa hauenjoy yes. Nipe mimi niteseke nayo 
My friend. Niambie mkuu. Wachana na hii maneno. Who is your usefulness and life? Lakini ma DVD mimi nataka tunikuwe na nitwatia 500,000 peke yake. Eh? Sasa wewe niambie tu hizi pesa mnatoa wapi chini ya maji mazimi sitatangaza. Ni ufisadi? Hey! Na watu kupora mali? I don't confirm and say you be correct, bad, blood. <laughs> Sasa unasema ati ndio nikwenda ka kitu lazima nikwe mfisa. That is the solution. Hai, lakini usini wizi mkuu. It is theft. Hiyo watu wa kwende kabisa. <laughs> Hai, wili akwende kwa nini? Huyu jamasi ananicha noti pe mniomoke. Au au. Lakini wili kusema tu kweli. Hii bilioni 4 si ndio ulipatia ujamaa ndio ingie uda. Eh, hey. hey, cuz mimi najua huyu jamaa kweli saidi nyingine hajawahi atashika milioni mbili tu kwa mkono. Ujinga. <laughs> Kwani ikikuwa hiyo saidi yenyewe alikuwa worth pesa ngapi? Million tano. Kwa sit down. Na wewe kwani haujasikia sahi he is worth 4 billion Kenyan shillings. Billion. Eh, hey, 4 billion. Wanaiba. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine imemchukua only one year ashinde hiyo network yako ya 40 years. Oh, hiyo ni porojo. Hai, wewe kwani sahi uko worth pesa ngapi? Hey, Ludinga is so rich. Very very rich. Waacha kuongea tu na maneno. Wewe tupe data trillion tatu. Eh? Wewe mwanzo wa romance ya mami wata. Na 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 kisita. Who is Bill Ati tri- trillion tatu. Eh? Na 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 kisita. Sasa unamaanisha baba wewe peke yako unaweza simamia budget ya Kenya. Ndio. Who is Bill Sasa basi situambie Minister of Finance unasimamia budget hii inchi this year watu wasilipe tax. Nitakujibu. Ah hapana hapana hapana. Baba wewe umeona tu venye wa Kenya wanaumia. Tusimamie tu huu mwezi peke yake. Sasa unakimbia unaenda wapi? Wewe toroka tu tutaparana 2027. <laughs> yani uko na hiyo pesa yote na utaki kusaidia wa Kenya. Which is not true. Sasa tuambie basi ukweli, net worth yako ni pesa ngapi? I think about 2 billion shillings. 2 billion shillings. Yes. So my DVD amekushinda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> na wewe wili kwanza venye unadosisha watu net worth yako ni pesa ngapi? Unajua nilikuwa nimefanywa lifestyle audit hmm. na magazeti. Wakaandika Ruto yako na mali hii, ruto yako na hii, ruto yako na hii. That's right. Na eh hawa watu wa OP wamekuja juzi <coughs> wakaimprove. Ile ilikuwa imefanywa na magazeti. Sasa wameondoa vitu vingine hata haikuwa yangu walikuwa wamesema 680 wameondoa hiyo kwa sababu ilikuwa uongo. Wameondoa Boulevard ilikuwa uongo. Lakini sasa waliongeza ingine kidogo ambaye sio yangu. Pengine nitawasaidia kwa sababu kwa properties kumi waliandika about 70% ni true ile ingine si ukweli kama ile wanasema at me niko na 10000 eka asuko ya IDC mimi sina so hiyo waende watoe achana na wao wewe tuambie penye unatoa hizi pesa zako mimi niko na shares eh, 400000 ya safaricom wangeweka hiyo <laughs> na tena eh, walisahau kusema ile biashara yangu ya kuku eh hey, hata hiyo ndio nilikuwa nimeongoja tu uongelele kwani hii biashara inakupea pesa ngapi nimefanya duka kwa president iko kuku 1200 <laughs> na wangesema huyu mtu anauza mayai 150000 every day shilingi 1.5 million alafu wangemalizia waende wa, wa bank wajue wako na pesa ngapi na iko loan kiasi gani hizo zenye umetaja hapa ndio zinakupea hizo pesa zote what is the problem sasa sahi the richest man in east africa wewe unazosema ni nani william ruto eh hey, acha story mingi hapa bana ha unye kwa nini wewe Sindio. wewe hiyo pesa yako unatoa wapi there's a surprise sisi tunataka kujua kwenye unatoa hiyo mali yako ndio tukurang unaona kama ni mali yako sio yako unajua usiposema itabidi umefanywa lifestyle audit pia Now we have come to the conclusion that the richest man in East Africa is none other than William Samoei Ruto. Ah no. <laughs> hey, kwani unataka kusema ni wewe ngashi? Unajua mimi ni mhubiri mtajiri. Ninajua ma calculation ya how to be stru- rich. Okay. Wewe ndio the richest man cause uko na nini? Saa hizi kwa ofisi niko na zaidi ya 300,000. Saa hizi. 
You don't know. You don't know why it's going on. Sasa uko na hiyo 300,000 pekee. Mama moja ameniletea 100,000. Okay. So in total uko na 400,000 shillings. Imagine mtu ameenda kwa benki ametoa 1.6 na wamekuja na mke wake amemwescort mpaka kwa ofisi. Na hakuna mahali mimi nilikuwa nimeomba pesa. Okay, ni sawa. So roughly tuseme uko na 2 million shillings. Yes. Proof ni zako. Shika hiyo. Shika hii gine. <laughs> Sasa hizi ni zangu ama ni kwa mfano. Sasa nafaa kukurudishia. Yes. <laughs> hii mali yako kidogo tutakuja tuchukue wache kimbele mbele yako. Hakuna mtu anaweza kuchukua mimi mali yangu. Hakuna, uwezi kuchukua. Uwezi. Uwezi kuchukua mimi mali yangu. Sasa wewe tuambie uko na wake ya pesa ngapi? 10 million, 20 million. Ah, hii pesa yako kidogo wewe ndio compete uko na kina DJ Shiti. Penda washa meno kwanza. <laughs>
a, a big issue for the people of Kenya. When, the people of, when it becomes a big issue for the people of Kenya, the people of Kenya will make a choice. As it is now, we are grappling with five million young people who do not have jobs, four million people who are hungry, and that is my concern. That is the focus of the people of Kenya at the moment. There, it's now up to you to decide which country has won. Let us go to challenge number four. Members of parliament from Kenya. <laughs> I can see the house is full. Yes. So which sitting is this? Because uh, as I can see here, uh, it is almost 8 p.m. A special sitting and not an ordinary sitting of the house. But I think it's already late. Uh, you should be at home enjoying with your families. We are ready to stay here until tomorrow morning. But are you actually prepared to stay that long? We are prepared. So that just shows how willing you are to work for the people of Kenya. Look, at, and, and, I'm, and I want to say it on the onset. We are ready. We have just had a meal. Those of us sitting here, we are ready until 2 a.m. And I'm also being told uh, by the director there that the Ugandan parliament are also having a sitting right now. Let us just go uh, there and see what is happening. What a victory! Turns the match almost inside out! What the oh, fuck? Oh. And now all the lumberjacks! <laughs> Let us now proceed to challenge number five. A young man from Kenya, which city are you from? Nairobi. Tell us something small about uh, Nairobi because it's the city that the Ugandans want to conquer. It's, a, it's the leading city in Kenya. And why are you not in Uganda? Because the way you're just speaking uh, on the other side, you are fit to be a member of parliament. <laughs> <laughs> but what they are lacking is something called opportunity. We will actually create an opportunity for you to go there and uh, take up these big positions uh, in the government. By the way, for instance... Hey, please don't add. That English is just enough to destroy them. I believe in Uganda. <laughs> So you want to say their English is better than ours? English is an ancestor. It died. <laughs> it died. In fact, we should do a memorial in Uganda. It died long time ago. You man, stop. You know, you started this war, and I just think it will be right if we finish it. What's wrong with you? Okay, guys, for those who don't know him, he is the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Uganda. Let us see what he has in store for us today. Wait, mm. what's your name? My name is Robin H.D. And he got some knowledge, the man is sensible. Okay, let me ask, did, did you understand what he said at first? Okay, cool, because I was sitting there going, uh... You know your man, Mohozi Kainirugaba, is the one who started this war. So we just want to understand, was he in his right since it's when he was making that tweet? That man mm. is very useless, mm. hopeless. Mm. You are standing, road, you are smoking opium. Mm. Godero money, Sifia money, I have a ticket. Then, as the Minister of Foreign Affairs, you should report him and he should be taken to court. <laughs> Come to go to the central police station this time to reach the court. Jangu to go to the police station. Or somewhere the court. Upon you ban. Ngashwe kwa numelewa kitu wamesema? Numekwabia mimi diyo mubiri muna semaga sijui kisugu. Sasa hiyo kizungu yake umelewa? Yes. Anaungelea nini? Mabu ya corona. Kwani ya mesema nini kwa zmisi jesikia malipopote penya metaje corona? Mixing of uh, COVID-19. <laughs> of the bridge of Keto. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine. Wewe acha ufale utatwebisha hapa. Simi ni fala, tuende kwa begi. Mwena mukipanga na hini, mizi tapanga na hini. Really? Wena hii kingeraizi yako tutakupeleka Uganda. Stupid. Back to you, Minister of Foreign Affairs. How is life for you in Uganda? No wife, no cow, no god, no hen, no brother, no mother, no father, no sister. Why you have no money? Now we go to our last challenge. And this is general knowledge. We start with Kenya. Eh. How many continents are there in Africa? Africa is a continent. Yeah. Yeah. Africa is already a continent. Yeah. Yeah. Angela from Bungoma. Africa is one continent. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let us now go to Uganda. Where is Africa located? Africa. Yes. East. East of what? Location. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Name for me three continents in Africa. Uganda, we have a Sudan, we have a Kenya, and a Rwanda. 
And who is the president of Africa? President Yoweri Museveni Kagoti. <laughs> Namazi from Kampala. Name three continents in Africa. Uganda. Kenya. Kenya. Uh, then yeah. Tanzania. Hey, yes. uh, then there is another Congo. And who is the president of Africa? I don't know, but uh, it seems Museveni is going to be the president of Africa. Hey.